as the truck. And this is to blind spot our truck. Left side, right side, front and back. You're supposed to be passing on the left, we are. So I'm gonna keep it moving. Those are those automatic brakes again. Pretty cool. One thing, if you look at the wall to the left, you'll hit it. So you want to look ahead and around the curve. Bridge ISIS before us. So I want to be mindful. The cold air blows over the bridge. It could be slick. I am not trying to slide and hit anything. Sometimes I've set the cruise control, other times I don't. Uh, I like to be more, it's, it's almost like a autopilot where you just set it and forget it, but once you tap your brake, the cruise control goes off. So you really get a chance to see the computers and technology work. So that was my alarm originally. I was supposed to get up at 3.30. So I got a nice little start on the road. Feel pretty good. We'll see in a few hours, right? Speed limit goes from 60 to 70, 65. There are those brights again. It's great. We're out of uh, construction. You know, you need to be ready for certain situations. What if I had a flat tire? That would suck. But I did check. There is a uh, spare tire here and jack. Um, so if I had a flat tire, I would get over to the right side of the road. I don't want to be on the left side. Um, I have a light so I could shine that. Uh, the car's fairly new, so if... Uh, the, the lug nuts, the nuts that hold the rim onto uh, the axle are not rusted, so that's always good. It shouldn't be too bad. It's not too cold out here, and the surface is pretty flat. So, <laughs> this car drives pretty good. It's a little higher up in here. It's not like, um, you know, lifted up. crash investigation site. I don't want to be there. But every location they do investigate crashes and what happens. I thought leaving at 3.30 was cutting it a little too close. Um, so I'd rather get a nice little start on the road. And in case I did get tired, I can pull over and rest 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Then I could just stay on my way. This automatic headlight thing, it's not annoying. It definitely kind of keeps you alert out here. <laughs> so it does help. You got your yellow line to the left. That's your warning line, left side of the road. We're here in North America. Sometimes it's really exciting to know, hey man, I drove like 12 hours. Other times you're like, I'm a fool. I drove 12 hours. 
it's a sense of accomplishment, sometimes anxiety, sometimes stress. I've been on all of those before. So you just gotta take care of yourself mentally. And if you're driving out here like this, you gotta mentally prepare for it. I promised you that we would uh, you see all those truck drivers over there. That's the rest stop. I promised you that if we would be able to see a rest stop, we would go there, so. I'm gonna keep that promise to you. It's always nice to see uh, the golden arches, comfort food, gasoline, bathroom. I'm gonna keep pushing. Um, our fuel range is 160, so I felt okay. Sometimes it's nice to listen to the sound of the car. If it starts making an odd sound or a tapping sound, there's something wrong. Our oil life is not correct. We did have an oil change that says 0%. That's not right. That's our average speed. About 71 miles an hour, that's cool. No sense in trying to drive super fast. Battery voltage is 13.8, which is normal. You don't want to be over 14.2, 14.3, you're overcharged, but also you need to be, you know, in that 12.7 to 13.5, 6.7 to make sure everything in your, uh, in your system works. air filter uh, you do need air so that could be blown out to save money there they are expensive they're a throwaway item now this is interesting on the tires um, they're all in the 30s my right passenger front is at 39 that's a little higher than everyone else's but it's cold it's not like it's uh, in the summertime where it's really hot so as long as the tires but my left rear is at 34 so that's a little concerning but um, they will heat up and get a little bit higher so that gives you some information I'm losing speed so that's I could be getting a little bit tired I'm gonna keep it between 70 and 75. <laughs> Truck drivers do stop on the ramp sometime and park. It's kind of dangerous, but they do. And also the state police. So we're not trying to um, see them right now. Oh, to bring you more value, I have to remind you, I uh, will be getting the podcast together very soon. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. I have all the equipment, microphones, Rodecaster Pro 2, and uh, we'll be going over the knowledge test and driving rules for every single state. So I'm really excited about that. That'll give you like 50 episodes and, and then we'll talk about the human side of driving and why don't teens, adults want to drive. It's a variety of reasons. So I'm looking forward to it. I've been playing this a long time. And uh, we'll be, we'll be uh, getting it on um, Spotify. I've already set up the account and then I've got to find the, the best hosting podcast hosting service so if 
you guys are listening and you know a good podcast hosting service, I want unlimited uploads. I'm going to be putting out a lot of uh, content. And then from there, we'll, we can make that into a bit like a video podcast. <laughs> and I love to have some of you on to talk about driving and what you need to do to get your license. If you don't know, I'm a state certified instructor, teach teens and adults. I've been teaching driving 23 years. So um, my passion is helping people learn how to drive and get them on the road. So and I've already had some other people want to come on board to talk about automotive maintenance, you know, how to pick a good shop, set up everything, bring it to the shop, shoot some video, put it up on the internet. I'm really excited for that. And you have an idea, you have to go for it. This drive is very chilled. Um, I'm just watching deer could pop up. Anything could happen. I could have a blowout or something. This is when a tire blows out. So you want to lift your foot off the gas and look where you want to go. This car is only two years old. So, but even new tires could have an issue. 